Juliet's Kitchen. I'm here with our good friend Christian Kiriakou and we're going to make a beautiful herbal tea from the garden to help with our digestion. So we're standing by this most exquisite rose. I think roses are one of the most amazing flowers and roses are really high in vitamin C and when you have them in a tea what they do is they help your digestive system so they help to ease all the bacteria along your digestive mm -hmm. system so they boost your immune system right because your immune system is really linked to your digestion and if you've got good bacteria going on in your gut then your immune system is a lot healthier so we're going to get some lovely rose petals from this rose um, it's beautiful with the water drops. It is it? absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. The, the extraordinary thing about the, the rose is its uh, geometry, which is where I'm coming from with um, the work I do. And when we look at the geometry of the rose, it's the pentagram, which is um, inherent with the golden mean vibration. And the human body is actually designed to the golden mean. And therefore, if we can eat or drink anything that has the golden mean geometry mm. in its vibration then it will actually remind the human body of its original design and therefore mm. give it its greatest um, opportunity for boosting the immune system which yeah. is what yeah. we're talking about. So does it work kind of like vibrational medicine? Because obviously, mm. you know, if we're vibrational strands and you uh, introduce absolutely. something in yeah. that's of that vibration, it realigns them. So is that how that's, that, that's yeah. working? Yeah, spot on, yeah. It, it, is, it is pure vibrational medicine through geometry. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And you can Absolutely. see that when you look at it. You can see the geometry. You can see the mm. magic in the rose. It's just one of the most exquisite flowers. The way yeah. the leaves, the petals all fold in on each mm. other. Just, it's, it's magic. And, and again, it's because of the geometry of the golden mean that it can actually close and open without crunching. It's the only oh. geometry in nature that has no stress at the node points, at the crossing points of the waves. And we know that roses fold in and they unfold out. Yeah. And so um, it is that only one geometry that does that. And there are many more plants than just roses that do it in the garden, but uh, the rose is an exquisite example of this. Beautiful, I'm excited to put that in our <laughs> tea now. I don't want to get that one because that is such a beautiful flower. We're just going to get one from maybe these, these ones over here that are a little bit further along because I just want to leave that for everyone to admire. So we're going to collect some rose petals and we're also going to collect some mint. So let's get some rose petals from over here. We're going to leave some for the bees. We don't want to take all of them, but we want to take a few. I always like taking them from a few different plants and when you're taking them from the plants it's really nice to ask the plants permission from anything you take in nature always ask the plant just say it silently take a moment to ask it and you'll hear a yes or a no quite clearly so it's very happy for me to take some of its beautiful petals to make some nice tea for us and I have to say this rose smells absolutely divine oh that is it's really, 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 really magic. Exquisite. That's going to be really nice and mm. some tea. So we've got a handful here of rose petals and we're going to get some mint. So we're in Juliet's garden and we're right by some beautiful mint. Now a lot of people think that mint is quite an invasive plant and they say don't ever plant it in your beds. Well, if you plant it in your beds and it spreads, use it. That's what we do. We make so many things from mint because mint is so good for you. It helps with coughs. It helps break down guitar. It's great for your digestive system. So why not make your own mint tea instead of going out and buying it? It's much, much better. So this is a beautiful peppermint plant here and we're gonna get some lovely leaves off it. If you just break the leaves off, then you keep allowing the plant to grow and you don't stunt its growth because it grows from the tip up. So we're gonna get a handful of mint leaves. There we go. Oh, and it smells absolutely divine. So we've got a handful of mint leaves and a handful of rose petals. We're gonna go inside and make a beautiful tea to help our digestive systems. So we've got our bowl of mint and rose petals. We've got a handful which consists of about 10 petals and about 10 leaves. So 10 mint leaves and 10 rose petals. Obviously you can do this to your taste because everyone has slightly different taste buds. What we're going to do with these is we're going to put them in the teapot but first we're going to pour 
our boiling water in. Like so. And what I've done is I've left these to sit for a minute so that any bugs that were on them had crawled off because we don't want to kill the poor little bugs. So we're going to put these leaves now in to our teapot. Oh, I'm looking forward to drinking this tea. Okay, let's put those in. And we're going to put the lid on and we're going to leave those now to steep for about five minutes so that the flavour can really be infused into the water. And then we're going to pour it into our mugs, we're going to strain it and we're going to drink it. And obviously you can sweeten it to your taste if you'd like to use some local honey or something like that. So we've let our tea steep now for five minutes and as you can see those leaves we collected made about a pot of tea. So I'm going to pour this out now. I'm using a tea strainer so that we don't get any of the leaves in our tea. There we go. What I'm really excited about now that you've talked about the golden mean is bringing that vibration of the rose of the golden mean into my body with that conscious knowledge. Um, also roses are the fire of love mm. so they're really heart opening which I think is a lovely thing so you're drinking love. So, Sounds good to me. There you go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming to Juliet's Kitchen. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Um, that does it. Indeed, tastes good. Feel that vibration. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling the love, baby. <laughs> feeling the love. <laughs>